imagine what Thanksgiving with the Jacksons would be like? Would Tito and LaToya and maybe Rebe be there? Would Janet show up? Well, at Jermaine Jackson's during Thanksgiving weekend, his wife of 11 years, Halima Rashid, allegedly attacked him and then was arrested. She is out on $50,000 bail and has been charged with felony corporal injury on a spouse. Wow. For this week's Motown Oral Arguments, let's bring in the moonwalking criminal defense and family law attorney Deborah Blum to represent the lovely bride Halima Rashid and I will represent the former Jackson 5 star Jermaine Jackson. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. And it's such a great topic. <laughs> oh yeah, right? It's definitely <laughs> a lot of fun. So as you can see, we're giving you 60 seconds on the clock. So give us your best argument. Well, Jermaine Jackson has publicly stated and he loves being in the public eye that he does not want to go forward. He said that he wants to reconcile with his wife and that he loves her. So the prosecution is not going to have a cooperative complainant in this case and they should do the right thing and dismiss the charges or at least significantly reduce them. As we all know, Jermaine Jackson is not always the most savory of characters. So it's possible he was the aggressor and it's possible that Halima was just defending herself and acted in self-defense. Also, the prosecution is going to have a hard time sustaining their burden here. They would have to show that her actions were willful and that a traumatic condition resulted. Biting someone and not leaving a bruise or a bite mark is not a traumatic condition and these charges should be dismissed. Well, that's an excellent uh, argument. I, listen, you, I, I, I love it. But as you know, and I'll have my 60 seconds on the clock, the prosecution doesn't need the complainant to go forward. So that's not a great uh, idea in this case and there is no history of my client Jermaine Jackson superstar Jermaine Jackson being abusive and I think it's also in interesting if you look at the statute is that if this wasn't a serious injury then he she would have been charged with domestic battery but because there's actual concrete evidence of physical injury they charged her with the felony version of the crime and in fact this woman, your client, she could get anywhere from two to four years in prison. My client, he did suffer a bitten leg, to be specific, where there was a laceration, there was bleeding. He could be scarred for life, Ms. Blom. And what's worse, he's a superstar. He can't go on tour with a big scar in his leg. What's he going to do? How is he going to hide, hide, you know, hide that? And finally, my client did call the cops. Now. You get to respond. Well, Jermaine Jackson is far from a dream complainant. And also, let's talk about the Sixth Amendment. He absolutely has to be present in court if this were to go to trial because Halima has the right to cross-examine him. He has serious credibility issues, meaning can he be believed? Can he be trusted? Let's talk about his prior marriages. Wife number two. While he was married to her, he committed an act of bigamy by having a religious ceremony with another woman. And again, wife number two. While she was his brother's mother of his children. So he stole a woman that his brother was romantically involved in and he has a history of not paying child support so there are many mothers and to those mothers he doesn't pay child support instead he buys himself a Ferrari now the police oftentimes arrest the wrong person you and I both know that so here it's possible they arrested the wrong person and he's not a believable guy so I don't know why they believed him in the first place now, before we give you the last word, Deborah, I do want to point out that my client, he, he, he's loved many a woman and the heart <laughs> wants what it wants you know it didn't work out with Randy and that woman that's why they never got married so Jermaine they fell in love and it was natural but let me leave you with this I have been authorized by my client Jermaine Jackson to tell your client something hit it
<laughs> there you go. I leave it with you, Ms. Bum. Give us the final word. Well, she might not want her husband back because of his philandering ways. It's possible that they were fighting because he told her that he was cheating on her. Also, there's rumors that she's expecting his child. Her last Twitter post said that they were having children. So this could have been a heat of the moment heat of the moment fight where her actions were not willful. She had no intention to hurt her husband. He also could have been the one that abused her or physically attacked her. So her response was appropriate as self-defense. She certainly didn't stab him or shoot him. All she did was bite his leg, allegedly. And he might have been making it up. This is somebody who loves attention. So perhaps he did this to get himself back out there on the radar. And he's seen walking around just fine in video footage. So I think that the prosecution should do the right thing here and drop the charges, but they might make this a case where they don't drop the charges, which is what they do oftentimes, even though they don't have a, a cooperative complainant. Ex ex excellent job. I just want our viewers to know that this guy already has seven kids. So they're looking at an eighth kid. He also has a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> Debra Blum, before we let you go, what is your website so people can retain your legal services? It's DebraJBlum.com. D-E-B-O-R-A-H-J-B-L-U-M.com. You 